Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Subscriber Sunday video and also the year of healthy habits. So each week we do a healthy habits challenge and I challenge you guys, but the main challenge is for myself and for you guys, of course. And so many of you have participated in these challenges and have really enjoyed them. And so I have I, especially this week's, I feel like for a couple reasons. For one, it really made me feel good to realize I already eat a lot of these superfoods. Oh, I guess I should mention last week's healthy week, healthy habits challenge was to focus on superfoods and I gave a huge list of different superfoods and talked about the ones that I would be focusing on and that was what really kind of shaped my week. It made me be a lot more thoughtful of my food and made me stay on track and I think that's why these these challenges are just so amazing to keep me going and make all these you know healthy lifestyle changes into a habit. And one of the things that I discovered was that, you know, I love oatmeal. I really do. And that's one of the things I used to eat all the time, but I felt like it never kept me full enough. And I used to just have it and I would have either banana in it or banana on the side. But I, this week I had it twice and I paired it with um, blueberries and three quarters of a teaspoon of chia seeds, which is zero points. So I had the oatmeal and I just used the old fashioned rolled oats, which is simply filling, but I used about four points worth if you count points. So I did the oatmeal with some blueberries and then the chia seeds sprinkled on top. And it kept me full, so much fuller than oatmeal ever has in the past. And I don't know if it's because of the rolled oats versus the instant oatmeal. Maybe you guys can help me out and let me know if that makes a difference. Um, I don't know, but it really did. And so I'm looking forward to having that breakfast again this week. And you'll probably see it one or two times this week. Um, but Anyway, so I really enjoyed this challenge and I felt like I really knocked it out of the park every day. I had at least one or two, if not three or four superfoods every day this week. So let me know down below how you did this last week with the superfoods. Did you try anything new? Did anything, a new combination like mine, did that, you know, like make you excited to have it again? So let me know what you guys did and how it went. And again, also Subscriber Sunday is also about you guys and I want a place here for you guys to be able to come onto YouTube and have a place to share your weight loss and to share your successes and your challenges so we can all help each other out and also non-skill victories. We wanna hear about it all down below. So let me know if you've never been here before, introduce yourself and this is a great forum and everybody here is supportive and helpful and it's no negativity. I have a zero tolerance for negativity on this channel and those comments will be deleted and blocked and I will not even offer any conversation to them at all. I just don't, I want this to be a safe place for people. So there, that being said, let me know down below how your guys' weight loss went this week. I have not weighed in yet. My weigh-in day is on Monday, but I feel fantastic, but I felt fantastic last week and I didn't weigh, lose anything. So, you know, but this is about being healthy as well as losing weight. And that's why I'm doing these challenges because I want this year, I want by the end of this year, Whereas that's my goal to hit my goal weight by December. And, um, but in the middle of that, I want all these different challenges that I'm doing throughout this year. I want, when I hit December, I want all these to be habits. And I may be repeating some throughout the year. And so far we really haven't done that per se. We've done it in different situations. But um, anyway, so <laughs> I'm babbling as usual. What is new, right? You guys are like, Jess, what's new? You guys babble all the time. I know. So this week's healthy habit challenge, I'm really excited about because I really liked having a food focused one last week. It kept me on track, it kept me moving, it kept me motivated, it inspired me to try some, try different food combinations. So this week we are gonna focus on protein. We haven't done this yet this, this year and one of the things with protein, I wanted to kind of piggyback on the superfoods because I noticed when I was eating the superfoods, it, they kept me full all day. So protein is supposed to be doing the same thing. I really have never had a lot of success in keeping, getting enough protein throughout the day. And I don't know why, I mean, I eat meat. It's not like I don't eat meat, but I think it's just, it's just keep getting enough because of what it does for you. Now there's not really, I'm not an expert, of course, in any of this. Any of this stuff I find, I just do a lot of research online before I do these videos 
and I mean extensive throughout the entire week. I usually pick my next week's topic a day or two in the week and then the rest of the week I spend time researching it and you know a lot of these sources I try to get from as much like as many legitimate type sources like I'm talking like WebMD, different doctors. Um, we have through my work we have what they call an employee assistance program which a lot of works may have that if you do check out your websites because there's a lot of information on them anyway it goes through a local health agency and it have a lot of information on their site that we you know we have to log in I can't link to it because you have to be a member um, but anyway so I get a lot of stuff from there and so it's coming from doctors and you know I feel like pretty reputable reputable sources so that's where I get my information if anybody wanted to know uh, so basically protein they say that so I was gonna say first how much should you get a day I don't know I mean I read several different things it seems like the consensus though is anywhere between 25 to 30 percent of your calories for the day should be protein which is hard when most of us that are here are on Weight Watchers and we don't count calories so it's kind of hard to do so I'm gonna be doing it a few different ways and I'm gonna give you I'm gonna tell you kinda of the how and how I'm gonna do it throughout this week to try to increase my protein so what does protein do for you so protein reduces levels of the of there's a hunger hormone that we have and I wrote it down but I can't pronounce it it's like ghrelin it's G-H-R E-L-I-N, I don't know, apparently it's a hunger hormone, and they say that when you eat protein, it reduces the levels of that hunger hormone and boosts the appetite reducing hormones, which is a few of those. Um, and it says leading to a reduction in calorie intake. So I don't know if I've ever experienced that in the past, because I think the only time I've ever really tracked my protein was when I did the keto diet, and or any low carb diets and Atkins, I did all those, so when I did those, of course I tracked my protein but I don't ever really notice if I you know how my my um, appetite was and they say about 20 to 30 percent of protein calories are burned while the body is a digesting and metabolizing protein and it says a high protein intake can burn 80 to 100 more calories per day so if that's really the case then let's increase our protein plus you know protein is vital to our everyday living I mean we to be able to survive and be a healthy person it's a it's a matter of balancing all those macros so you have your protein your carbs and your fat and you know those are really important to have you know all of those like even fats fat is really important we've already did a fat challenge we already did our you know healthy fats week and so now this is our protein week so and we also actually did a healthy carbs week so I guess this just rounds out the macros so what are some lean sources of protein that is important for weight loss and just being an overall healthy person? So of course we have spinach is a good source, but you would think that you you wouldn't realize that a green leafy vegetable would have protein, but it does. So spinach and sun-dried tomatoes, artichokes, and peas are some of the highest as far as vegetables are concerned. Uh, lean cuts of meat, of course. So chicken, extra lean ground beef, lean cuts of pork, uh, canned tuna is very high. I just have a problem with fish and seafood. I don't like it. Tuna though, I can actually tolerate tuna. So I do have a couple cans of tuna. I may try some tuna this week because I believe it was like 15 grams of protein in a can of tuna, which is only like one smart point. You get the tuna in water, of course. Um, eggs, which I love eggs and I eat a lot of eggs, and beans, lentils, Greek yogurt, peanut butter, PB2, if that's what your choice, grains like quinoa and the wheat berries that I eat, um, sprouted whole grain bread, which is what I eat, chia seeds and certain nuts, and then of course protein bars. You do want to be careful with the protein bars. My protein bar of choice is Quest. I feel like it has the high protein but it doesn't have you know a lot of calories and it doesn't have a lot of sugars and that kind of thing so you just want to look and make sure you're not eating a candy bar you know make sure it has a lot of protein in it so now we're to kind of the how how do you do this without if you're not tracking enough you're already tracking on say like my fitness pal you can set it at least you used to be able to I haven't been on my fitness pal for a long time but before Weight Watchers I did track through my fitness pal 
and I would set my protein usually was set at about 20, 20 to 25% of calories per day. So you can do that. It would give you a number based on your calories. So if you do that, I would do that. If you, do, if you don't do Weight Watchers and you do track them on my Fitness Pal, I would definitely do that. But here's some other ways that you can increase your protein naturally throughout your week. So first thing, which makes so much sense, but I never would have thought of it this way, is eating your protein first at your meals. So when you have your plate in front of you, so say you have, you know, your, whatever your protein is, and you may have some potatoes, or you may have some grains, or some pasta, and then you have your salad. Now, I guess unless your salad was made entirely of spinach, but I use like a super greens blend, which has spinach and kale, and like arugula and other greens, and then I have romaine usually with it too. So I don't just have just spinach, but start with your main source of protein. So if you have chicken or something with your lean ground beef or your pork or whatever you're eating, start with that. Or if you're having a vegetarian meal and you have your beans or something, I don't know, whatever you, whatever your main source of protein is on your meal, start with that. And this is either breakfast, lunch, or dinner. So don't start with eating your toast at breakfast. Eat your eggs first or whatever your source of protein is. Um, that makes so much sense. And then they say, then you go to, you know, those other foods later on after, you know, to make sure that you're filling up first on that protein. So I think that makes so much sense. They say that it keeps you full and keeps your blood sugar levels and your insulin from spiking. Um, another idea is a snack on cheese. Now cheese is not simply filling like, well, so fat free cheeses, but like the cheese sticks are not, but they're only one point. So I have plenty of points to use. So I think I'm going to use some weekly points this week and I'm going to snack on some light cheese. And I do have the, um, the cheese sticks. Like I said, the, I think whatever those are, Figaro, 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 I don't know, <laughs> whatever those are, the light cheese sticks. So snack on cheese. Um, eat like eggs or Greek yogurt at, for breakfast instead of eating carbs. Um, I do believe oatmeal does have some protein in it though as well. So just, you know, maybe just make sure that you're picking, you know, breakfast, some kind of breakfast or something with, with, with a focus on the protein. Um, have maybe a hard boiled egg. If you want to have oatmeal, have a hard boiled egg with it and eat that first or a protein shake. Now we all, you know, we know there's all that controversy about blended fruit. I'm not going to, that's not the video for this, but, um, I do like to partake in a protein shake once in a while. And I do use the quest protein for that. Cause that is my favorite protein powder. And I think it is 20 or 30 grams of protein in a scoop. I think it's 20. Um, add protein to your salads. Now I do this a lot already. So you just pack your salads full of protein. You can put chicken or hard boiled eggs on there, put some nuts or seeds on there. I like to put pepitas, which is pumpkin seeds, which are high in protein as well. I like to sprinkle some of those on there. I usually try to do just, just less enough to be either under a point or just at a point. But if you're putting a lot of things on there, then you're not gonna miss that they're not a full, like say a full teaspoon or whatever it is, of, uh, or I mean tablespoon. Uh, pepitas you can just do just enough to make it under a point and just have other things on there and then you still have a nice salad um, cheese beans and beans is another great thing to add to salads I have taco salads quite a bit and I always put black beans on there lentils lentils are really good on salads I know it kind of sounds weird but they are lentils are really good on salads lentils if you want a good recipe too if you want to try to increase your protein or have like a meatless meal lentils make great tacos there are a great I don't really have one in particular recipe that I've used, um, but there's a ton out there on Pinterest for lentil tacos. They are so good. So if you have never had lentils for us, you know, for made lentil tacos, you should. Really good. Um, PB2 or peanut butter with fruit, which I haven't had that in a while since I've been on Simply Filling, but I may, you know, use some weekly points for that. Um, protein side dishes, you know, so like cottage cheese or Greek yogurt are both really high in protein. So have those, you know, maybe as a side dish with one of your meals. And the last thing is to try to aim for about 20 to 30 grams of protein for each meal. I feel like that's so much, but I'm gonna really try to aim for the low side, try to aim for the 20 if I get more, that, you know, so I'll have to probably, I know on Weight Watchers, if you look up a food and you kind of scroll up, there's the nutritional facts down at the bottom. Either that or just kind of look online. I'm sure I have no problem. I'll just kind of track it maybe in my, 
planner how much protein each of the meals were, but I'm gonna try to aim for at least 20 each at each meal. So, and I don't think that includes snacks. I think that of course is just like breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Cause that would be a lot in your snacks. I don't even know how you would do 20 gram, 20 to 30 grams of protein for a snack. Unless you had a protein bar that was 20 or 30 grams. Or those little protein shakes, which I haven't had those in a while because they're not simply filling either, but they're only two points. The Premier Protein Shakes, they're 30 grams of protein. But I do notice though, so be careful. Now I should mention this since we are focused on protein. Be careful with the protein bars and the protein shakes. I do notice, and I don't know what it is in those. I don't think it's the protein, of course, but for some reason, if I have a lot of those, I will notice a gain that week. So just be careful with how many protein, like protein shakes, protein, I'm not, it could just be my body. I don't know. But let your weight loss be your guide when it comes to those kind of things. If you do notice you had a gain after, you know, maybe this week's challenge, it could be, look at your protein sources. If it was only, if the sources were only from protein bars and the premier protein shakes and maybe a, just a regular protein shake and that you had one of those every single day, that could be part of the problem. I'm not sure what could be in them. I think they have sugar alcohol in them, which has never affected me before when I was on Atkins ever, but there could be something in them. I'm not sure. Anyway, so that is this week's challenge, and I hope you guys will join me. Let me know down below if you will be joining me and what your, your favorite sources of protein and help us out. So give us some ideas. And again, let me know down below how your week went because I want to hear it, and I will be sharing with you how my week went in tomorrow's weekend review. And I will talk to you guys all later. And if you have not subscribed, please do so and like this video if you did. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.